the mud is stiff and frosted. The harsh light of the winter sun lends no warmth as it bleeds through the gunmetal clouds that race with an unsettling quickness over the big skies. The stores dwindled as the harvests diminished. Our employers vanished. All that remained was the foreboding skeleton of the big house where the gale shot through the empty main doors and the mortar crumbled. The only clue as to the life therein was the silhouette of a laird in the topmost window, framed by cascading vines. But then one morning, he was gone too. Weeks after the laird failed to appear in his rounds, the young master finally emerged. By day, he would take to his scabby horse, scuff around the empty fields. His tattered cloak whipped in the foul breeze, bone charms clacking, a troubled look of shell-shocked dismay hanging from his face. As the famished landscape darkened, we would witness the emergence of small fires glowing on the surrounding hilltops. Then the frenzy of dance would ensue. The presence of my malnourished co-workers fell away. The moon-drenched ceremonies guard in frequency. The master's echoing sermons resounded through the emptiness. The bonfires systematically lit up his hastily constructed crosses from which the half-devoured carcasses of the disappeared laborers limply hung. Those of us who had endured in our fragility, huddled in the straw and shit, trembling as we awaited the young master's scythe. Days became weeks, the skies bruised, and finally, we saw it. The master's animated corpse, strewn with cogs and gears, wired up to turbine and battery. He tracked us far and wide with combine blade, I alone escaped, I alone bore witness to the horror that drove him. Through Deadwood and Bracken I had been chased back to the big house, to what I thought to be my last refuge. There she sat at the head of the table, in a precise nest of terminals and radio transmitters. The young master's twisted mother sent out the signal to him as he appeared behind me. Now, from this cage I scrawl these notes. I am fed by the young master on flesh of unknown origin. The matriarch looks on. Night and day she croons with that same damnable song.
clup clup, little pig goes mm mm, little duck goes quack quack, little guinea potter rack, but my rooster goes cock a doodle doo.